Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today, we're going to be doing this comparison test. So oftentimes, these are three of the major laundry boosters that you will see. Another one that's name brand is OxyClean, but I didn't, I want to exclude OxyClean because I have a separate video that I'm going to be comparing it um, against Biz and some other um, stain removers. Now, this is the thing. So I'm going to be comparing all of these. When you look at most of their instructions, most of them tell you to add a half a cup um, to your washing machine and it's going to boost your laundry detergent except for this one this normally uh, this one on the this box specifically says add one cup but when you look online there's other um you can add a half a cup as well so to keep it equal across the board we're going to add half a cup the six things that we are testing is this is chocolate syrup this is sriracha hot chili sauce this is grape juice this is a grass stain this is barbecue sauce and this is a break grease what's the i think the brand is called coastal or coast one of the two um, but this is break grease now you and I both know that it's not going to get all of these things out, but I'm really curious to see which one of these does the best job at aiding the detergent. The detergent of choice is going to be Tide Hygienic Clean. We're going to fill all of them to the one mark on here, so it's equal across the board. And um, yeah, this is going to be the control. A is the control, so we're just going to wash it with just plain water just to see how water does. All of it's going to be washed and warm. Y'all know how I do my tests, so I'll see y'all outside with my portable washer to conduct the test. Oh, okay. I wanted to come back and make a correction because I just realized that wouldn't make sense. Our control is not going to be washed just with water. A, our control is going to be washed with the detergent by itself. That makes a lot more sense. So the control is going to be washed with the detergent by itself. I have other shirts over there that have B, C, and D. And, you know, B will be for borax. C will be for the laundry soda. And then D is going to be used to um, just use the baking soda instead. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. So we're just going to fill this to the one line and let it go the cycle as a control. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, see y'all outside. Okay. To save time, I already measured this to the one. And this is A, the control. So we're just going to wash it with detergent by itself. Let me get the temperature of the water for us. Let me do you. So 108.1 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so... I'm going to pour the detergent in. Okay. That's possible. It's going to run for a full 15 minutes. Alright. And we'll be back in 15 minutes. Okay, so that has completed. Take this shirt, put it in here, take this, spin it for one minute. Interesting. One more thing I want to say. To the person who told me um, to just add fabric softener, like a splash of fabric softener, to the wash water so that when I do these experiments, I don't have a ton of bubbles. Thank you so much, because now look at what this looks like. There's like no bubbles whatsoever. I did two cap folds of this. I hate this. I'm gonna, I was, I'm gonna do a review of this um, with the rest of this, a whole lineup, which I was supposed to do earlier, but whatever. I hate this so much, but it does do a good job, you know, removing the water. I mean, removing all the bubbles. Okay, so next we're gonna run it through a rinse cycle. It's just gonna be six minutes. And that's good. Okay, I'm gonna toss this in the spin cycle to drain it and then we'll hop to the next one. Okay, we're outside again. We're gonna be testing it with the borax this time. Um, a half a cup of borax specifically. Let me get the water temperature. Let's do that again. That's 109.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so let me just take this. Okay. Then we'll add the detergent. Okay. Turn the time. 15 minutes. Right. I'm gonna throw this in. 
again i'm not gonna sit here and make you um y'all watch this whole entire thing over and over and over again i'm just gonna show this part for the the next two and then we'll go to the results at the end so let me test the water temperature Ooh, let's do that again okay so this is 111.9 and again i'm reiterating myself a thousand times but this is filled to the one line and then I'm totally out of washing soda now. So it's not 100% like right at the top part of the half a cup measurement, but this is what we're gonna have to work with and it's close enough to get the point. Hold up. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, add some of that. And then we will add the detergent. Run it for 15 minutes. And stick. This is C, so we know. And we'll be back. We have finally made it to the last shirt, shirt D, where we're going to be using the detergent filled to the one line. Like I said, it's not leveled on this little um, table, but anyway, it's to the one line. And then half a cup of baking soda. Let me get the water temperature for us. Okay. Again. Okay. So that's 109.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Cool. Let me actually just put this over there. Okay. And then we're going to take the half a cup. We're going to add the detergent. Get that going. Same. 15 minutes is all the rest. Then let's get ready to toss it in. All right. So the next thing you will be seeing is the final results in like the table format, how I did it with the arm and hammer video. But yeah, I'm gonna let this do the whole thing. Then I'm gonna let them dry so y'all can see all of that. But I will catch y'all in the voiceover. Okay. Let me see what I'm looking for. Excellent. So. As you can see, these are the results that we have. And this test is very interesting and very surprising to me because if you look at all the results, none of them did a better job than just washing with the detergent alone. That being said, Thai 10 times hygienic clean is a very, very good laundry detergent. So I'm not actually super shocked that it did really well on a lot of these um, stains, but I am shocked that none of the, except for, Okay, let's break this down. When you look at the borax one, which is the second one on the screen, and look at the second column, it did a better job at removing the grape juice stain specifically. But when you look at the yellow mustard stain, the detergent alone did a better job of that. Well, I guess you can give the borax a little bit of a, um, you can give, hold up, my phone got a notification. Who is this? Okay, we'll, we'll look at that later. Anyway, um, when you look at the stain for, the um, sriracha hot chili sauce, which is underneath the grape juice stain, the bottom one directly, the most bold one out of all of the stains, that's the sriracha hot chili sauce. All of them did a better job than just the detergent alone. So I assume that it's really stain specific as to which stains this, these boosters can help with. Um, when you look at the grass stain, Okay, the baking soda. If y'all look at the baking soda, the baking soda, I think, did the... Ooh, it's between the baking soda and the borax. It's kind of hard to determine the difference between the baking soda and the borax. So we'll, we'll say it's kind of a tie. You can see a small hint. If you really, really look at it, you can see a small hint of the, like, the shadow of a grass stain left on the um, Tide Hygienic Clean, which is just a control one by itself. Um, and I want to uh, say this again. All of these was washed in the detergent. I know you just see the detergent in the picture, which I know you, um, I don't know, people jump around and skip. So I just want people, if you jump to this point, to understand that everything has been washed in the detergent. It's just the first column has just been washed in the detergent by itself. And then each, the other columns have their products. So column number two has the borax. Column number three was the washing soda. And column number four is the baking soda, just to further clarify. Um, that grease stain, 
all of them maintained it. But when you look at it, the Tide, Ten Times Hygiene Clean did a better job of removing that. All of them did a pretty solid job of removing the barbecue sauce, except for the washing soda. You could see a little bit of a shadow outline left on the washing soda side. The chocolate um, syrup stain, the Tide Hygienic, the control just by itself did a good job removing it. The borax did a good job removing it. You could see on the washing soda side and the baking soda side a little bit of a shadow outline of that left. So to be completely honest, when I'm looking at this overall, the washing soda and the baking soda are inferior to the borax when it comes to stain removal, which I'm not surprised by that. Um, I am, though, surprised that if I'm, we're just comparing the borax and the control, let me see, stain by stain, the barbecue sauce is kind of what and what. Um, the grease stain, the tide, the tide did good just by itself. When it comes to the grass stain, if you look at both of them, and I know it's kind of hard just to, to tell because the, little, the shirt's kind of wrinkled, but they're kind of wet and wet on that as well. When it comes to the grape juice stain, I do say the borax did a better job of removing it. And I guess you could say the, the I guess technically, what is that one? The borax did a little bit of a better job, but it's like, it's not better to the point that it's really significant. Um, so this test has kind of shown me that for, I guess I won't say a generalized statement, for these specific stains of the sriracha chili sauce, the chocolate syrup, a grass stain, the grape juice stain, this specific brand of grape, of grape grease, and then this barbecue sauce, washing in the detergent by itself seem to do more than adequate job and basically better than the booster. Separate borax is kind of what and what, but even that, I'd still be like, you know, might as well just not use the borax, honestly. You just use the detergent. So this was actually interesting to do because I was really curious about this. You see, So what we can conclude from this is I can't give a blanket statement that says that with every stain that you use, using these laundry boosters is not going to be effective. But what we can say is for these specific stains in this test underneath these conditions of washing temperature, that it wasn't effective um, at removing those stains any more so than the detergent alone. And as a matter of fact, the detergent alone did a better job than the washing soda and the baking soda, which I'm kind of disappointed to see that. I do plan on doing this test again later down the line. My plan is before the end of the year with a much less performing detergent. So something like maybe one of the LA Silly Awesome or even like, what's another brand? Like the Extra brand or the Ajax brand. What's another brand that's not really that good? Uh, I don't have Sun. If anybody knows where to get Sun, I know Sun laundry detergent has been discontinued and I don't like it and it didn't do good, but I'd like to have it in my arsenal just to do some reviews for. Let me know if any of y'all can get hold of that and then, like, DM me on Instagram or something. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching these videos thus far. If you'd like to see any other new content, don't forget to put it in the comment section below, and I will try to add it to my roster of uh, ever-expanding list of reviews to do for you all. Catch you on the next one.